brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're working with our 2001 Ford Ranger 4.0 liter V6. We're gonna be showing you how to remove and reinstall the alternator. If you like this information, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this vehicle as well as many other makes and models. And if you want this part for your vehicle, it's available from 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Before removing any components of the serpentine belt, be sure to check that your vehicle has a belt diagram somewhere on it. Ours is still present on the upper radiator support. You may also find them under the hood or in your owner's manual. If you don't have one available, simply look at the belt and the path around the pulleys and draw yourself a little diagram of where everything goes to ensure that everything is installed correctly and turns in the correct direction. The battery is located on the front driver's side of the engine bay on this truck. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, or you can use a wrench to remove the clamp on the ground side of the battery. Loosen the clamp, wiggle it off of the terminal, and tuck it somewhere down to the side where it won't accidentally come back and complete the circuit. We're going to remove this cover over the throttle body. Use a small Phillips head screwdriver to remove these two screws a seven millimeter socket and ratchet for the bolt in the back. Remove the cover from the intake. We're gonna use a flat blade screwdriver to loosen these two screw type clamps on our intake tube. We'll then wiggle the tube off of the MAF sensor and the throttle body, and remove it from the vehicle. You'll also have to remove this breather line from the back. So we'll remove the intake tube from the throttle body and the MAF. Pull it straight off the breather and remove it from the vehicle. Your serpentine belt tensioner is located on the passenger side of the engine, just below the alternator. At the bottom, there's a 3 8 square drive which we'll use the end of a 3 8 drive ratchet for. Install it into the drive the same way you would install a socket onto the ratchet. We'll move the tensioner counterclockwise to release tension from the belt. Unhook the belt from the alternator pulley. We're gonna use a hooked pick to pull up and release the tab on the large connector of the alternator here. Remove that. You may want to use it to hook and release the connector down here as well. This is the single wire exciter. We'll disconnect those two parts. Remove the power wire with a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Remove the power wire from its stud. Remove these three 13 millimeter bolts with a socket, ratchet, and extension. Support the alternator while you remove the last bolt. Remove the clip that secures the wire harness. Remove the alternator from the vehicle. Here we have our old alternator that we removed from our 2001 Ford Ranger 4.0 and our new part from 1AAuto.com. As you can see, these alternators are exactly the same with the exception of this little extension that we're gonna have to change over onto our new alternator to make it easier to access the power. We have the same mounting locations. We have the same three pin connector as well as the same single wire exciter. They are both a 130 amp alternator. They have the same pulley on them as well. 
We have to change this extension piece from our old alternator onto our new one to make it easier to get power onto the alternator. We use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove the nut from the new part. It is very likely that this part will break, so we'll pry it up with a flat blade screwdriver. Watch for those pieces of debris to make sure that they don't fall into the alternator. See, ours did break on the way off. Remove this red cap on this extension piece. You may need a small flat blade screwdriver. Using an 11 millimeter socket and ratchet, remove the nut. This piece simply slides out. Slides into the new alternator. We'll reinstall that 11 millimeter nut. And the plastic cap. Now our alternator is ready to go into our truck. Drop the alternator back into place. I'm gonna start the lower bolts here first. Remember to place the tab for the harness under the top bolt before installing. Tighten them down with a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet. Torque these bolts to 35 foot-pounds. Reinstall the exciter wire and the three-pin connector at the top. Lay the power wire over the mounting stud. Reinstall the 10 millimeter nut. Tighten it down with a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Ensure that your belt is properly routed still and that it has not fallen partially off any of the pulleys. Use your 3 8 ratchet to remove tension from the tensioner. Install your belt over the alternator and remove your ratchet. Reinstall the breather line in both ends of the intake tube to the throttle body and the air box. Tighten down the clamps with a flat blade screwdriver. Reinstall the engine cover. And we'll tighten down the front two screws with a Phillips head screwdriver in the rear with a seven millimeter socket. Reconnect the negative terminal. Tighten the clamp back up, 10 millimeter socket and ratchet or a wrench. Ensure your connection is tight. And you're ready to go. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.